All right, I fought my way back down into this infernal place. <laughs> it's so frustrating down here. Those, uh, the, the skeleton beasts, the ones that lay down, are just they're almost unavoidable. They're going to do damage. Um, what I am going to do is rest of this bonfire, and I'm also going to kindle it. So I'll explain what I have done. I did a bit of farming so I could get a divine weapon. The crescent axe I had required 16 faith to actually use and I've only got 10 so another six levels into that would have cost me almost 300,000 souls and I'm, I wasn't going to do that so I actually built a new divine weapon so what I'm going to do is reverse the hollowing first and then I will kindle yes I'll kindle it twice I think that'll give me First one gives me 10, second one gives me 15, I think. So if I do die, I'll come back to this one, uh, which is much, much closer to the actual fight itself. What I did do was I went and farmed a little bit. Uh, I've been going to the princess's chamber there and killing the large royal giants, like the royal guard there. Uh, they net you 3,000 souls each. So with this weapon, I can walk in and pretty much, well, uh, one or two hit them and kill them. So what I did was I built a Divine's Y, which is that there. So that's a Divine's Y. So what that means is if I do get in there, the skeletons, if I can kill them and wipe them out and bring it back to the level of being a one-on-one -on -one boss fight, it's going to afford me a lot more freedom to watch his patterns, see what to look for, look for opportunities to attack and actually learn the fight. So this is, this is going to be the second time I've been down here. I haven't been down again. So hopefully uh, I can do enough damage with that just to chop the skeletons and things down to size. And then if I can just sort of lure him away from uh, where the big skeletons are, maybe I'll be able to do this. So uh, I can still hear one of these stupid things down here. So I'm going to have to try and get out of here as cleanly as I can. Oh, he's just there. I go the wrong way? <laughs> I like totally lost. Oh man. Go bro. Go. <laughs> is this it? I think this is it. I think I can just avoid them. Yep, here we go. Alright. Once I learn it, hopefully I'll just be able to run through. Uh, it's just because it... Oh, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> These guys, man, these, these guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're waiting. Was there one down here? Or did he drop down? Oh, I thought that was another one. It was just his jawbone. <laughs> All right, let's get back over here. Another shot at Gravelord Nito. This is a pretty cool area. That almost looks like it could be the, uh, the Great Hollow. Maybe that's the, the bottom of the Great Hollow, just because of how those trees are laid out. Oh, are you kidding me? Vlad and Leroy. So is that a human? Oh, my goodness. Tell me. I'm not sure. Oh, huge damage from whatever he just hit with. Oh, so is that... I don't know if that was a human or if that was a... A thing. Let's see what he dropped. Paladin Leroy? I've got no idea. Humanity. Grant and Sanctus. Okay, that's probably uh, a CPU controlled dude. Man, he did a lot of damage with that big thing he swung at me. Whoa. <laughs> I freaked out. Imminent Dark Wraith. Oh, so, okay, so that must be a dark wraith. Okay, maybe I'm starting to understand stuff now. Maybe. <laughs> no idea. All right, I think I can... Oh, no, I have to use that to get through here, I think. All right, yeah, because there's a dark section. I don't know whether I'd be able to run this area as well, whether I could just absolutely bolt my way through. I just, I don't want to get knocked off the edge. 
here we go. Let's see if we can just, just do damage safely. Okay, we can two hit them. Keep the shield up. Looks like I've got enough light to traverse this area. Just got to watch out for the skeletons at the end here as well again. It's all about getting from A to B while retaining as much of your health as you possibly can. Alright, we will avoid this other guy. Go. Oh! <laughs> okay, now I have to deal with these things. Alright, these things aren't too bad to fight. A couple of hits takes them out. Oh, is this thing gonna hit me? Down there, dude. There you go. One, two. No, 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 they poison, they're poison. <laughs> One, two. Yes, yes, back up, back up. Oh, what? It blasted me. One, two. I'm gonna have to Estus, what? One, two. Little baby thing, so there's another one. Get him. One, two. One, two, and we're done. Stupid little thing following me. Get away. Oh, he's like, stop. Get away. Estus. Just bang, double Estus. Oh, I shouldn't have, actually. Oh, Master the Father, so that's another mask. Let's have a quick look and see if there's another one that dropped. I think there's a father, the mother. I think I told you in the last episode. Father, mother, brother. Chicken, sister. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, here we are. Another attempt. So, I'm thinking... Oh, there's no, no summon. What is that sound? Is that me making that sound? Smashing everything. There's no summon here. I wonder if there's a summon in the next section. Have a look. See how we go. I'll just let me get this unequipped. Go back to this. I'll go in with the Zwei. Oh, that's that big hammer the dude hit me with. Go in with this. I'm pretty sure I can still. Yeah, I can still fast dive roll. Kick in the dough. <laughs> All right. So yeah, there's definitely no summons there. Oh, the damage you take from this fall. I think they're having that spell. Fall control would definitely help. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Let's keep it. Heal. Heal, brother. There's my souls, too. I wonder if I can juggle them. Let's go have a look. Oh, that was a failure. Oh, except that sound is the cue for the big sword. Chop them, bro. Oh, this thing swings so slowly. Okay, here comes the sword, here comes the sword. Oh, I'm absolutely failing so bad. Get it. Oh, are they reforming still? This is a divine weapon. Tell me they're not reforming. Oh, big skellies, big skellies. Go. Alright. Go, where is it? <laughs> I'm stuffing up, I'm stuffing up! Where is it? Oh, it's... I wish you could have more equipped. <laughs> Go, man, just burn these, burn them all. Get your souls, don't wake him up. Here comes a sword, here comes a sword. Spam and dive roll, got it, missed it. Alright, let's see how we go. Let's see if we can get in and do some damage to the load. That's looking like Nova attack. <laughs> oh, what? No way. Just get in there and chop, bro. Oh, that's a pretty big strike. 
Oh, it looks like he has a big weak weakness after he does that. Just keep hitting him, man. Keep hitting. Here comes to Nova again. Shield up. Oh, I think he's having the shield up. Help, man. Get it! <laughs> oh no! Here comes the slash. Oh, we're close. I think. Next hit. Next hit, man. Yes! I think we got him. Is he dead? Oh, I, was gonna, I thought he was still alive. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got him. Man, having the... Oh, Lords. Okay, that's our first Lord Soul. I think that's the first one we get that we can place into the vessel. Humanity as well. So... Oh, I got shaken hands. 60,000 souls! Wow! You best believe we are going to be so careful getting back out of here, mate. All right, let's, let's just creep. Oh, I wonder if we go back out in the coffin and it takes us back to the catacombs. Interesting. Oh, man. Okay. We did all right there. I was just thinking with those skeletons, that makes that fight so much easier. And having this weapon, because this weapon does immense damage now that I've got it all specced up. So, is that a bonfire? Oh, are you serious right now? That is amazing. <laughs> Oh, that is the, f I think that's the first time I felt like Dark Souls has shaked my hand and gone, there you go, brother. There you go. <laughs> you earned that. Take this. All right. So we've got 126,000. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe just one. What can we do? We can go one here. We might even go two in decks. I could go two decks, two vitality. That'd give me a fair bit of health. I don't know whether I could go. I might just go one and one. There we go. That's probably a better, a better setup. Bam! So that's a whole lot of soul spent. Level 75. I am leveling up fairly quickly, purely because of the way I've been playing and the way that I go back through areas, fight, go level up, so I can use a certain weapon. I don't know whether it's bad the way I'm doing it, but if I can continue playing the game like this, I'm having fun. Uh, I'm. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying just go straight into strength, put all your points there, put all your points into dexterity, like pick one or the other, but I, I'm feeling this more rounded build uh, is something that I'm, I think is working working good for me at the moment. Okay, so I can warp, maybe I have to warp out of here. I'll just, let me just have a look here. I can kindle that one too, which is interesting. Let's have a bit of a gaze around here. So it's probably just this, exactly the same as before. Oh, we can't interact with the, the coffin anymore. Oh, it was all like blue, purpley, shiny. Nice. Why aren't we all purpley and shiny like that? <laughs> all right, quick explore of this area just to make sure there's no items or anything around. All right, so. For the fight, I think having the the uh, divines Y means I could take down the skeletons, have them not reforming, keeping my distance, staying away from the large skeletons that were at the back of the area, uh, avoiding dodging, and then basically just doing big hits with this, <laughs> chopping and chopping. So we did all right there. So now we go back to Firelink, and we will chuck that in the Lord vessel and see what happens. I wonder if we get anything for it. Nothing changed here. Ain't nothing changed. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I swear, I swear it is brighter. Someone will have to let me know if that is an effect or whether <laughs> something in my game details change. So I did actually go in and change some settings in DS Fix to try and get rid of the lag down there in uh, New Londo, which uh, it fixed the lag, but I don't know whether it was my settings that had it dark. Or whether once you've placed the Lord Vessel, it clears up all the fog down there. Because that is so much clearer now. I imagine that's what it would be. Unless I'm just tripping. Alright, let's go talk to him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what? I think I might have to hit him to wake him up. I, I hope I have to do something like that. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. 
well and wide awake. I punched him in the face. Like an old withering snake. <laughs> it is yawn. <laughs> oh, sucker. I am pleased to see. Is it? Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Feed him. I don't think we feed it to him. Whoop. Very well. Oh, okay. He takes Stay us down there. All right. Oh, he's going to eat us again. <laughs> ah. So I'm thinking, what is going to be the next area to fight? So we need to we need to defeat four four lords and get four lord souls. So that was the first. So we got we got the first one done. I, I'm pretty sure you can do them in any order as well. Because it doesn't seem there's no real set path in the game. So I'd imagine you can just go. Wherever you want. All right, let's. Other souls. Oh, here we go. What's this gonna do? Ah, oh, it just makes the fire burn a bit brighter, does it? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> no, Lord Souls. Okay, so we definitely gave it to him. So we can level up down at this one. So it just w it works like a normal. Oh, I've got a Titanite chunk there as well. Oh, hang on to that's why. Purely because if we're in an area where there's some undead enemies that respawn off a necromancer, that's that's going to be a huge uh, huge hand, huge handy. <laughs> it's going to be a huge help to have that. I was trying to say that's going to be handy to have that. It's going to be a huge handy, handy. <laughs> I'm tripping. All right, let's um repair our gear. 28, 6, 12. Oh, we better uh, just check the check the armor. Where is it? Ah, I keep going the wrong thing. Oh, our armor's good. Okay. Uh, and that's that's about it. All right. So we'll we'll get the, get the hell back out. Yeah, I I swear it's even brighter down here. I wonder if I had a setting in my game set that made everything really really dark. That is so much better now. Okay. I am pleased to see you well. I am is pleased. It something urgent? <laughs> it's very urgent, man. We need to get so the hell ready? out of here. Then we shall return. Stay still, then. I tried to turn on uh, the anti-aliasing in DS Fix. I tried to put it on Ultra, but it doesn't look like it turns on. I've got it set to off in the in-game options, which is apparently what you need to have, but. Uh, there's still little jaggies here and there. The game still looks incredible for a supposedly really, really bad port. And I mean, it's not not the best port, if I'm honest, but it still looks quite good. Um, Dark Souls 2, man. Honestly, I have not been caught up in a game like this for so long. I'm just, I'm enjoying literally every time I play this game. There's, there's never been a time where I'm like, I'm just going to stop playing, man. I'm not not feeling it. It's like every time I look at the clock and go, I have to stop playing or I'm going to black out. <laughs> I'm going to die of kidney failure. Look how much health we've got. Wow. I've got two humanity there. I'm thinking I'm going to go to the Undead Parish. I can't remember whether I kindled that again. That's another bonfire that I used a fair bit in the game, and I'm thinking if I did do a new game plus playthrough, I'm just trying to think which bonfires I'd want at 20 Estus. This one was great because you get through Sen's Fortress up to the Iron Golem, and I think having uh, 20 Estus from here as a spawn location is going to be a good thing. So we'll kindle this. I don't know what how many that's going to do. If I can do it again... Okay, so that must be max. So that must be at 20 now. That's good. That's good. So we're at 20 for that one. Okay. The only thing now I'm thinking is... It's going to be another one of those places where the gold fog actually dissipated. And the only other one I know of uh, is actually all the way back at New Londo over there. So what I might do is... I'll cut this episode at the 20 minute mark because it was just uh, the Grave Lord Nito episode. And I might even try and upload this one 
on the same day as the previous episode. I'll see how it goes. If you do see it on the same day, you're very lucky people. But if, if not, uh, I'll cut it there and hopefully uh, I can come back either this episode if something short happens or it'll be next episode I'll probably be at uh, Anor Londo I should say I think I said New Londo uh, I'll go to Anor Londo and I'll go through the gold fog where it was and I'll see what's up there so I hope you enjoyed this episode and until the next one we'll see you later coming, coming soon, soon we are, we pushed, are pushed to the, the limit, limit by, by deadly, deadly new enemies, enemies covered, covered in crystals, crystals. In, the in the next episode, episode the Duke's, Duke's Archives, Archives.